In today's story, we hear the very special tale of how hundreds of slaves escaped the Confederate army, how they came to build their first settlement, Slab Town, and another called the Great Contraband Camp, and how under the Emancipation Oak, they heard the words of Abraham Lincoln proclaiming them free. Let's read Under the Freedom Tree, written by Susan Van Hecke, and illustrated by London Ladd. 1861. May moon gleams bright as colonel's buttons. Three slip out unseen. Frank, James, Shepard scramble down the sandy bank, hearts drumming, eyes darting, knees trembling. Weathered skiff bobs in rustling rushes, quick now and quiet. Stars hold their breath, and so do the three. Four miles from the old oak tree, oars dip, no sound, silver ripples. Steal away now, away, away from camp and colonel's work, dragging, hauling, digging, stacking, until weary bones ache. Torn fingers bleed away from rifles crack, cannons loud roar, war away from southern soldiers who would own them, work them, beat them, sell them, keep them slaves forever. Glinting waves slap rotting wood, whispers low and shivery. What if we're caught? Shackles? The whip? Sold down river? Or worse? What will we find cross the deep water? Better forward than back, think the three, as they course closer to the old oak tree. Brass moon fades and sun climbs high, stars and stripes flutter. General squints, spits, strokes his chin ponders the fate of the three, Frank, James, Shepard. To his shores they came, wrapped in night, to stand bravely before him, heads bowed, hopes bold. And now comes Colonel's messenger under white flag of truce, high on his horse, here to fetch the three, two miles from the old oak tree. Tis the rule of the land, these United States, you must return our chattel. Chattel. Persons as possessions, owned and used like cows, pigs, dogs. General scowls, owl eyes narrow. People or property, muses he. Yet wait, these United States... Dear sir, says the general, smooth as the tide, have you not heard? Twas only yesterday, Virginia withdrew, seceded she did, from the union of states. So let it be known, I do here claim and seize your chattel as enemy property. Contraband of war, now are the three, as springtime sun warms the old oak tree. Frank, James, Shepard, three become forty, William, Charlotte, Waddy, then hundreds, then more, runaways, stowaways, barefoot, mud-crusted, better forward than back. Fortress fills, crowded they spill beyond the high walls, beyond the stone gate, gathering old logs, scavenging rough planks, cobbling crude shanties, slab town they call it, and still they come in patches and tatters, they come and they come, a human stream, thousands upon thousands, George, Eliza, Harry, Peter, Sarah, David. 1862. Now slab town fills, 
Crowded, they spill into the ruins of a city once set aflame. Torched by Confederates, Hampton smolders in ash. There, in rebel's rubble, scorched earth, charred timbers, burnt brick, they build and they build. Great contraband camp. Days are for union work, dragging, hauling, digging, stacking. Nights, they fall spent and hungry on cold dirt floors. But here at Slabtown, here at the camp, they are not what they once were. Slabtown is their town, so too the Grand Camp, a home of their own, a first for the many, a home for them all by the old oak tree. Missionaries come, bearing Bibles and news. Worship God, sing praises and pray. We shall teach your children. Reading, writing, so long forbidden. But how, but where? No schoolhouse at Slabtown, no books at the camp. Teacher, brave teacher, gathers them all. As war rages on, under cool leafy limbs float boys' and girls' voices. A, B, C, one, two, three, sheltered in the shade of the old oak tree. 1863. New Year's sun frosts a pewter plate sky. Hundreds huddle under strong wide branches, Frank, James, Shepherd, and all who came after. Hearts drumming, eyes darting, knees trembling. Boy climbs on crate, long paper in hand. Hush now and quiet. Wind holds its breath, and so does the throng. With a voice clear, sure, and strong, Boy starts to read. By the President of the United States of America, all persons held as slaves shall be then, thenceforward, and forever free. Tears rain down and shouts rise up to trees tallest tip, up, up to the clouds. We're free, we're free. Lives changed forever under the freedom tree. Thank you.